Aloha. Thank you for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. As he runs out of options, Donald Trump gets more and more desperate. We've seen that many times, and especially in view of the big lie. If any of his ridiculous outrageous strategies don't work, he concocts another one. And whatever his advisors say, each one in turn is more desperate, and more ridiculous. And in the process, they get more outrageous and for that matter more seditious. We saw that in the conspiracy he organized for the insurrection. Now, for the lack of other options, he's trying strategies that are even more off the wall. This time he wants to quote suspend the constitution, to support the big lie. What? No, we're not kidding. Of course, it's a distraction from all of the criminal proceedings pending against him, and the very real possibility that he will be indicted in one or more of them, to say nothing of the civil cases also pending against him. He is again trying to stay in the headlines and distract attention to himself and his two-year 2024 campaign. We've always had questions about his stability, but this time he's gone too far, and this new outrage suggests he's gone over the side, that he's really lost it. Will his base follow him down the rabbit hole in this direct denial of the Constitution? It's hard for them to claim patriotism on what would amount to national suicide. Even if some do, others will draw the line on what he is doing, and at best his base will be smaller, but more extreme. The moderates and independents will probably not follow him, and that will cost him dearly. The question is whether the new GOP will continue in its loyalty to him. This new insanity could be the last straw for him and his GOP. Yes, we're talking crazy. Perhaps like a fox, but crazy all the same. What he's really saying, and what he was saying in the insurrection, is Trump over country and coup over constitution. This is the ultimate test of his cult. We cannot afford to give him any more rope. He's over the side, and it's time for all of us, even the extremists, to move on. Either we lose the country and become inmates in his asylum, or we finally turn our backs on him. That would be indicated, and preferable. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Aloha.